In this video, we're going to try to address a question from Paul Wilson Learning Facebook page from Betty Lee. Betty Lee asks, uh, thank you for your helpful videos. I was wondering if there was a way for Captivate 8 or obviously Captivate 9 in this case, uh, which is what I'll be using, to show an incorrect correct caption box after each individual drag action from the user. I'm new to Captivate and perhaps I'm I have missed seeing that option. Now I'm only able to see the incorrect or correct after the entire drag and drop activity is completed. Thank you. So um, I've never done this before, but again, after a little bit of experimenting, I was able to find a solution, I believe, for Betty Lee's question here. So I've gone back to my uh, classic Canada quiz uh, demo course, which is what I use for a lot of my uh, my online uh, demonstrations here, and I've come up with uh, the basics here of a uh, drag and drop activity that I think will uh, suit uh, what Betty Lee is asking about here. So we have the, uh, the three major uh, party leaders in Canada and the parties that they represent. You just have to drag the faces over to uh, each logo. This is conservative, by the way. That's liberal and new democratic party. So let's go into our, um, sorry, our insert uh, drop down menu and launch the drag and drop interaction wizard. And we'll set this up here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select all of the draggable objects. So that's easily done. We're going to use the pictures of the leaders themselves. And we're going to hit next. And now we click on the logos for the uh, individual parties. We'll hit next again. And at this stage, we just need to match the uh, character images to the actual parties or the leader images. So uh, that's Justin Trudeau. He's the leader of the Liberal Party. And we have uh, Stephen Harper. He's the current Prime Minister of Canada and also the leader of the Conservative Party. And uh, we have Mulcair, who's the leader of the NDP Party. And that's how that works there. So I'll hit finish. So we have the basics of a drag and drop here. I'm just going to move the submit button out of the way a little bit here. And if you select the location that we where we can drag to, uh, you'll see, of course, uh, several things here. Now, right off the bat, actually, um, we're going to uh, make a few changes here. What I want to do is I want to have an on accept and on reject button, or sorry, caption, for each of these images. And I'll just put them below, again, so they're out of the way, but easily seen. And we'll do the same thing for this one here. And again, we'll just put them there. I won't bother labeling them. Of course, you can have whatever message, you know, yes or no or correct or incorrect or uh, whatever it is that you want to say for each of them. And um, we'll just get that out of the way there. So a couple of things that I would like to do as well. I also want the image to shrink down and appear just in the middle of the graphic. So we're going to make it about, let's say, 40% of the original size. Uh, same thing here. It's kind of uh, unintuitive because I'm selecting the graphic but I'm determining the the size of the image itself so it seems a little uh, counterintuitive. Sorry, that's the better <laughs> you, uh, phrase to use. Centered on the uh, snap behavior, the centered is fine and uh, one of the things we're going to do here and this is, you know, you would think by itself, okay, we're done but we need to set up some parameters. So I would recommend that you actually name all of your objects themselves. So let's bring up the properties panel. So as you can see here, I've named the conservative logo, conservative, liberal, NDP, and so on. And I've also named the 
leaders' images as well, Mulcair, uh, Harper, and Trudeau. And uh, that, so it'll be easier to, to do what I'm about to do. So I'm going to click on the conservative logo first. And uh, incidentally, these are all SVGs, which now Adobe Captivate 9 supports. Uh, let's go back over to drag and drop, though. And we're going to click on Object Actions. And this is going to bring up the Accepted Drag Sources window. Now, again, not always intuitive. You wouldn't always necessarily click on that. And also, if you clicked on it, you may not fully understand what we're doing here. What we're saying is what this window does, it says what is an acceptable item to be dropped on the conservative logo. So let me just cancel this for a moment. As it stands right now, and um, since I'm here I just want to get rid of this failure and success caption. Um, as it stands right now, um, the the image uh, would accept anything. So if I drag Mulcair to conservative, it'll accept it. No problem. Uh, it won't reject it at all. We want to change that behavior and that's what we're doing here. So let's click that object actions button again. We're going to uncheck accept all. Uh, the count refers to the number of objects that the item will accept. One, we only want one liter per political party. And then, of course, the, um, the the choice here is on accept. Are we going to replace an existing object, or are we going to, if there's an object already there, snap it back? Well, let's choose replace. And what we'll do, we'll keep all of these no actions, but we're going to uncheck this. And obviously, for conservative, the only leader, the only acceptable drag source type is Harper. And we'll do the same thing for liberal. Uh, again, we'll just say uh, uh, replace and we'll uncheck that. And liberal, of course, is Trudeau. And then for NDP, again, uh, we'll uncheck accept all and replace. And the only acceptable is Mulcair. So I'll click on OK. Um, you know, and there's some other things I would do, like obviously I might fix this to be a proper text button, which is better for this particular template. But otherwise, I think we're pretty much good to go here. Um, you know, and of course, uh, let's just double check a couple things on success. I like to go to next slide rather than continue on failure. Um, I don't want them to go anywhere until they get this correct. Uh, we'll say infinite attempts. Um, so I think that's all good. And of course you have the option to include in quiz um, if you wish. I'm going to auto submit correct answers and include in quiz and we'll say it's worth 10 points. So that's fine. So let's uh, do a preview of this, the next five slides. We'll see how this works. So here we have our uh, political party leaders, and we'll try to do some wrong answers. So I'll drag Mulcair to Conservative Party. So again, I get the failure message there, not a good choice. Maybe it's trust, uh, just Trustin, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> again, snaps it back. Oh, it must be Stephen Harper. Sure enough, it is. And of course, he shrinks down and uh, is in the center of the logo. Well, we've got two left, so let's try... Well, maybe he's NDP. No. Uh, maybe he's NDP. Yep. And that must leave Justin. Oh, I forgot to shrink him down. And then, of course, I get to continue uh, to the next slide. In this case, I might actually want to use continue instead of jump to next slide to allow the user a, a, a longer chance, a second or two, to see the uh, uh, correct message. Uh, but that's essentially it. I think that's pretty much uh, a solution that's going to work well for Betty Lee's question there. 
Guys, if you like the videos I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. This way you'll see the new videos as they come out. And if you thought this video was particularly interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.